Hi guys, I'm going to do a photo card organizing video today. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of eyes one and twice to put away. Let's start with my twice photo cards. So I just have their latest Japanese release to put away. Sorry about the glare, I'm doing this in the daytime for once. And <laughs> yeah, it's suddenly very sunny today. So let's do these. So these will be at the back of my binder. So I have reorganized my twice binders. I've reorganized a couple of my binders actually. Um, but my twice ones I have, yeah, so I've put, oh, I've started putting dividers in. I can't remember if I showed you that last time. Um, so I have the Korean discography. Then I have the bigger cards or the unit cards. So this is still Korean discography. And then uh, Thailand, which to be honest, there's never gonna be an update, I don't think. And then there are Japanese releases. So I just collect Jihyo. What I do is with these albums, so with the repack albums, they seem to release OT9. So I have a whole page. So I have this for the BDZ. So I'll put in here the And Twice repackage. So what I'll do, I'm going to put the cards in first, just because I feel like that's going to be easier. <laughs> As I mentioned in my twice unboxing video, it's quite nice to have like an OT9 set, so I don't have to worry about collecting just you here. The glare is ridiculous today. Okay, where am I gonna put these? So I have group cards, so I'll keep that there. And then I seem to be having the stickers, so I'm gonna put it behind. So I did check if these would fit in the four pockets and they don't, um, they like overlap at the end. And then if I had three pockets, I think that would have been much better, but I don't, so. <laughs> We're just gonna have to make do with this. I think this looks cute. So here's my boy group binder. I only have one Wu Young and two Hyunjin to put away. I think, yeah, I'm up to date with 80s now, which is great. <laughs> we love to see it. I really love these photo cards. Again, sad they don't have the group cards, but I guess maybe they're not gonna do that moving forward. To be honest, I've not made that much progress with my boy group collections. So I'm just kind of focusing on Eyes one at the moment because my twice collection is borderline up to date. I just need to get one GKO Japanese card, but with Eyes one, I need like 500 cards. <laughs> Here I have my I Am Who cards. So I have completed the I Am Who collection, which I am very, very happy about. Yellow and then white. Cute! I have a full page. Yes. So I just need to get the I Am You, the Hyunjin, like name at the top left. That will be here and then i need to get the limited version of mira then for just these like album cards i'm complete now i have my girl group binder so i have everglow and luna so where is that that's here yeah so i did originally have this card but i wasn't sure if i was just going to collect like one card per album but i have decided not to <laughs> i want to collect both of her cards so i'm just going to collect album cards for now so i'm going to ignore the mmt card and we'll just see where we go with that. I put away this one. This is from the Hush album. I love that card, it's so cute. And then this one's really cute too. But I just need to get the two other group cards. Oh my god, what is this for? Oh, this is for the new album. What an idiot. <laughs> I was like, why is there like a really blank page? I'm not sure if I want to order, purchase, I mean, the other postcard set from Mia. That was for the Hush album. And then we go to Luna. 
Okay, one thing I can talk about as well is I've reorganized like all of my binders really. Uh, with my G friend, I've decided just to keep like a row. So the first release is kind of difficult because there was just one for the second mini album. There's nothing for the first one. And then for Snowflake, there was two. So I've kept them on one line. And then everything since, I'm just gonna collect free cards. So I still just need like one for this, two, two, and then another three. One for the limited. I really wanna get this card. Um, if you guys have seen like anyone selling this card, please let me know. And then I have all of Fever. And then I just need to buy Labyrinth. I still haven't got it. That's what I'm gonna do for the time being until I get up to date with at least three for each. And then I'll work on trying to get the other cards. What I've decided with these cards, if you saw my Luna unboxing, I purchased the albums with MMT, which came with like loads of cards. I've decided I'm just gonna keep Kim Lip and I'm also gonna purchase Eve because obviously she's my boss. And what I'm going to do is I have a row free for Kim Lip. So I'm just gonna put her cards down here. So if we put the MMT in the middle and then I don't know what's A and what's B, but we're just gonna do this. <laughs> But yeah, I just think that looks cuter and then I've kind of filled up a page and I don't kind of need to make another page for her. And then I just need to get Eve's cards. So I have purchased her MMT, I think. Um, and I've also purchased one version of her card. It's the version that doesn't have the red outfit. So I'm still looking for the red outfit. Um, so if any of you guys are sending or trading that card, then let me know. I'll just show you with Amar Girl. So this is what I've done. I've got just one card per album. So it doesn't look as crazy bad when you go through it. The only cards where I have more than one card is if it came with more than one card. And then lastly, I have my eyes one because I have the most cards to put away for this one. I'll just quickly run through with how I've organized this binder now. So moving forward, I'm only collecting four members. I did used to collect six, so I used to collect Yuri and Che one as well but that is just going to be impossible. So <laughs> I've kind of decided it would be better if I just collect four and then I can collect them more thoroughly. That's kind of how I've organized it, where it's going to be like the four by four and then like a blank card in the middle for most part. So because there's loads of units, I've got one here and then can't see on the back, I have another unit and then here I've got one unit. So that's how I've done that. Then I've got the Kina cards. Moving forward, I just have like a white fitter spot. So yeah, I've just organized it four by four. So that's the same for this. Um, before I show you that. So then I it comes on to... So there's like a divider here. And then I have cards for my top four. I have like the school looks, I have the secret time. And so on. And like concert merch, that kind of thing where I'm collecting those four. And then I've got another divider. <laughs> then I've got the Japanese uh, cards. So I'm collecting top four and then I've done it where it's like back to back. So there's cards on the back. So I'm collecting top four and then when there is like, there was three versions for each release and one of the versions came with every album, like every CD, like member CD. So I have like box sets of all of the member CDs. So I'm keeping everyone. So you can see that here, I've got everyone. And it just goes on like that. I might do like an updated like actual binder tour soon. I'll probably wait to do that until I get uh, all of Eyes One's Blue Eyes cards, which will be a while. <laughs> um, this section is gonna be Japanese trading cards. I only have these at the moment and only for like one set. And then here I have the rest of the members. So I have all eight here and I've just kept like their Kino cards and like just anything that it kind of came as set and I just wanted to keep. So I mainly have Kino cards here and like their fan club, fan club cards. And then I also have group cards and such. And then at the back I have just miscellaneous. So at the moment I have a Umbi broadcast and I have MY card. I do have a lot of cards to put away. As an update, I've panic ordered every member of this card. I think I need one of Sakura's, I can't remember which one. I've also ordered every card of this for my top four. I've ordered all of these cards. Um, there's one that I couldn't order again, I think it was Sakura. And then I've ordered all of the AR cards except from one of Yena's. So I have pretty much all of top fours for those. Um, the photo cards I'm just gonna collect a lot slower just because there's like no rush for that because they're not first press. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to organize the photo cards and everything. So we're kind of gonna have to bear with me. I'll probably update like some of it like off video like as like I get more cards. At the moment, my plan is to have these kind of cards, the mini cards, because they fit in these. 
um, and the AR cards together. There will be free versions of this, so at the moment I don't have like the AR, any of the AR cards for this one. Um, so yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So like I will have free pages of just these and the AR cards um, for each version because there's free albums. And then I have the photo cards, and then I have the bigger stuff. So it will make sense once once I start to put stuff in. So let's put this mini card away first. What I think I'll do, I think I'm gonna have the mini cards at the bottom and then the AR cards at the top. Perfect, I haven't got anything else for that. I'm also not too sure what version is which, so like the order, so I might have to move this later on. I have this AR card, it's for the orange version. Great, so then I don't have anything for the other version. And then if we just keep it in the same order, I have these three for Sakura, and then I have a Yena. This is where I'm not too sure how to do it. I think they have different colored backs, yeah. So what I might do is I'll keep like these together and these together. Yeah, because that makes sense. Like the outfits would probably be the same. We'll go with the gray back first. So we will have, I will just put them where I think matches. That looks good. And then on this one, I will do both at the top. One thing I do want to say, I'm so proud of Eyes One. They went amazing with their album sales. And also they have had, I think it's their third win today for M Countdown. Okay, so then these are two different versions of the album. So this one I will put here. That will be the other version, and then on this page, I will put this one. It was just funny because I said that I probably won't collect her moving forward because I wanted to collect just three. Psych, that didn't happen, <laughs> which I'm glad because I just love Eyes One. I wish I could collect all members, but for someone that collects like loads of groups, it's kind of impossible. But with these cards and these, I will have one, two, and then on the back will be the other two for this version, and so on. And then I will go back and then it will be like these ones. Again, you'll kind of see when they start to have more cards. <laughs> when I start to have more cards. Because I've ordered all of the other cards together, I will have like probably a photo card organizing video just for Eyes One, I think. Cut up some A4 paper, um, white paper, so that you can't kind of see through to each other. Uh, I think it just looks a lot better this way, especially with these cards where there's such an awkward shape. So the back of this will be this card. Like this is such a weird shape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.